Welcome back to the pink envelope. I have full spoilers for just deco summer. Very excited to show this because this box goes hand in hand with one of the surprises I'm working on. I think that's a good way to drop a hint without like telling you everything. Even with that being said, <laughs> I only really know one of the items in the box and I'm very excited about it. So your hint is this goes hand in hand with the second surprise I'm working on. Um, if you have some guesses, you can drop them below. Very interested to know what you guys think I'm up to because the clues have just been so crazy. And then I started working on two things at the same time when we launched Ben and Sabrina joining the channel. That was surprise number one. And we have part two I'm still working on that, yeah, there's your hint. If you're new around here, welcome. We're so glad that you're here. This is Just Deco Home Decor subscription box. It is quarterly, which means it comes out four times a year. I'm gonna be showing you everything that comes in their summer box. It is $69.99. Shipping is here in the US and it is based on your location. If you use the code pink envelope, you get 10% off your first box in your subscription. Uh, down below in the description, I will itemize all of the items in here, but you usually get four to five home decor items like trays, throw blankets, tabletop decor, table runners, ceramic decor, botanicals, and more. Uh, just two seasons ago, so winter of 22 is when they dropped the hint color. Color, 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 color. And they said that they're gonna be going towards color, which I am so excited about. I love color. They have a great loyalty program. They have a members only Facebook community that you can hang out in. They have member exclusive deals in the shops and on bundles. Uh, they have an online shop that anyone can shop, which is really cool. So if you're looking through here and you're like, I don't wanna do this, but I like their vibe, go down below to the description grab that URL and head over to the online shop to do some looking around. Okay, full spoilers. Where do I wanna start? I've got this guy. I've got this moss. I have no idea if it goes with this guy. I have this guy, don't know what it is. Oh, this is heavy. There's something in here that's heavy. I have this guy, whatever he is. Maybe we just do like this. And then I'm probably gonna slide this down on the stool so I can get these guys. So this is right here on top and easy. So let me open this guy. It looks like, um, Oh my gosh, not macrame. What am I trying to think of? It'll come to me in a little bit. And I don't have the, oh, let me just get the QR code and scan it so I can tell you exactly what this is. Moon wall accent. There we go. The moon wall accent is a harness of magic of the moon with this lunar inspired wall hanging. Handcrafted from leather, this unique accent brings celestial beauty to your walls. Each carefully crafted moon phase is designed to capture the essence of the lunar cycle. So let me see if I can get it all to face the same way at the same time. That might, oh no, not so hard after all. There we go. And then we have a tassel who needs a little sprucing. So let's spread it out and spruce it. It looks like it's made of leather, vegan leather, handcrafted from leather. Okay, there we go. Yeah, he just got a little smush, but just pull on this a little bit and they spread out nicely and then it hangs right there from the top. This is so my little Emma. She loves things like this. She has a macrame on her wall and a shelf. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, she's stolen a lot of my Just Deco stuff and put it under her two-story bed where she hangs out at the bottom. So this guy's, I don't know how long he is, but he looks like he's about like a foot, a little over a foot long maybe. Would look gorgeous up against a dark wall like this right here. Okay, look at all the little leather bits on my desk. Let me scoop these up because the next item I wanna pull out is the item I knew about and I haven't been able to see it. I just saw it on their Instagram. So I'm like, okay, I wanna touch it and see it. Cause it's like, super Aztec inspired and I love things like that. 
If I could add on to my house, I would want like an Aztec inspired Southwest design type room. Okay, well, this is much, much larger than I thought it was. Maybe like three times larger than I thought it was. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get it all in frame. So here is one half of the throw blanket. And then I'm just gonna push this to the side and pull the rest up. Here's the other half. It is huge, huge. I'm gonna have to get dimensions on this guy. Let's see if I can pull him. Oh my gosh, this is still only halfway. Look, it is still folded in half. I'm scooting this over. I'm determined to show how big this is. Okay, hold on. We are not showing the bottom and this is still folded in half. This might be the largest throw blanket we have ever received in a box. So this is what the front looks like. I freaking love it. Very Southwest inspired, Aztec inspired. And then the back is still pretty. It just has darker colors across the back. Fringe on the edge, a light fringe. It's not real heavy. Oh my gosh, let's see what it says in here. You can use this as a comforter on a bed. It is huge. The boho blanket. Embrace untamed adventures with this season and our boho inspired reversible blanket. Explore the outdoors in comfort and style, perfect for sunset picnics, cozy campfires. With captivating blue greens, deep red, you can unleash your inner wild and carefree decorator. Hand wash only in lukewarm water line dry. I, I, let's see if I can find a tag. If I can't, I'll try to measure it after I get off the video to tell you guys how big this thing is. But for now, just mark it as an extra, extra large throw blanket. It's not overly soft. It is not rough either. It has that whatever this is made of texture. It is reversible and they actually show it outdoors laid out in a picnic style setting. You absolutely could use this across a bed or across the back of a couch because it is so big. Okay, this is the item that I saw on their Instagram. I also think that these two items go very cute together. A more neutral color and then something with a ton of color. Now, to see what's over here, I see a pot and I see moss. Ooh, love the color. Also, this thing is pretty stinking heavy for the fact that it is a little, like a little guy. It's not like it's a guy like this, but I'm guessing he's made out of a clay of some sort. Love 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 the color love the color in and of itself obviously it's my green but it looks so good up against this blanket let me pour those little popcorns out real quick so you have options here is what this pot looks like all the way around it has feet on the bottom, but it does have a hole. The hole has a plug in it. So if you're just using it indoors and you're not putting a real plant in it, you can leave it as is. If you want to really plant in it, you're gonna pull that plug out so that the water can drain out and you have a gorgeous clay pot that once again, looks super good with these browns as well as the blanket. It is the green that is in the blanket. Let's see if I can hold this up without like knocking everything over here. See this together? good colors. This has a fun clay texture to it. So the moss, okay, hold on. <laughs> I don't know, and I'm trying not to cheat and look ahead on the QR booklet. Oh, what are these? Love the geometric shape, all about different geometric shapes. Oh, they look like they hang on the wall. Look what I'm seeing on the back right here. So here are these. Looks like they hang on the wall like that. Let's try this again. There's a big hole here that slides up. Okay, they hang on the wall like that. One, two, three, four, 
anchors and screws. Okay, let's go to the QR code. The hook set. Form meets function in perfect harmony with the wooden hook set. With their sleek and minimalist design, these hooks bring a modern edge to your decor while keeping the boho aesthetic. Arrange them individually or in a group to suit your style and function. So yeah, so I mean, I don't have anything to hang necessarily, but you can put it on the wall and then you would hook the item here, whether it be a towel, a robe, uh, your oven mitts, uh, your apron. There are four wall hooks with anchors and screws. Very boho in design. Very cute. I don't know about you guys, but I'm constantly buying things to hang on. So even look back here. I just had to go buy all of these. Well, that's not true. I went to buy some didn't like him, came home and had Jonathan make new ones. But anyways, I'm always looking for hooks to hang things on throughout the entire house, especially now that we're at summer and there's wet swimsuits every single day. Very, very cute. It doesn't say whether you can hang wet things on these. If you do, I absolutely would put a waterproof finish on them first or just hang them inside so you can put your apron and stuff on the kitchen on them. Cute. At first I thought maybe these built a base for this, but it doesn't, they're a wall hanger. Loving the neutral palettes with still very strong statements with color. We still have the moss. <laughs> I don't know if it's just for whatever you put in there, you can put a nice covering or if this guy has something to do with it. After we get this guy open, of course, we're gonna go grab our past Just Deco items and mash them up. Do these boxes play well together? What kind of designs can we do with past box items? So make sure you stay tuned to see if we give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down on continuity for the season. Because although it is great to just get one box full of great stuff, if it doesn't build on your past boxes, your house is gonna look really, really random quick. So that is why we always do this curation test. I guess that's what you could call it. Ooh, greenery. They look like little baby Monstera leaves. Goodness knows I love me some Monstera. Anything in the Philodendron family, I am a fan of. I don't want to pull too hard, you know what I mean? Okay, no, I'm doing it right. I'm doing it right, I think. Oh, ow. Now it makes sense. So that they didn't have to pack this big plant. The plant comes in three pieces. So this is what they say. The faux monstera transform your space into a lush oasis with our faux monstera plant. Its vibrant essence adds a touch of tropical elegance with its beauty detailed leaves and realistic textures. Enjoy the beauty of zero upkeep while elevating your decor game. Reach. I do love my Monsteras. I will show you this guy right here. This is my um, oldest one <sighs> as of this year. The freeze of 2022 um, was the third consecutive hard winter we had, and I lost my 15 ish year old plant. Um, it was horrible. I don't even want to talk about it because I was like start crying here on the video. However, this one I had moved inside. He survived and he is thriving. He has giant leaves. It's amazing. So you take your pot, which is just a base plastic pot with styrofoam. You're going to push your Monstera plant in. Monsteras have external roots. Leave your roots sticking out. Their aerial roots grow outside the pot and come down the side as you just saw in my picture there. Once your plant is in its base, start sprucing it by pulling its leaves apart to give it a little oomph after it being in the box. I'm going to do mine pretty oomph oomph because I do believe Monsteras like to grow just like kicking out wild. They typically don't clump together unless there's a sun issue. So I am going to spread mine out like so. Leaves should face all different directions. You just saw my plant. Monstera leaves just, they don't necessarily like just grow over like this. They grow out the side, they grow in all different angles. So don't be afraid to emulate a real Monstera. Take your moss, y'all just gonna be messy. So just get ready. I'll have to run and grab my vacuum in a minute. 
and sprinkle your moss all around the base at your leisure, how you like it, the thickness that you want it. Once again, leave the aerial roots out because the monstera plants have aerial roots that stick out. I am actually not gonna use all my moss. I'm at right here and I am digging that look. So I used a little over half of my moss and then do I just wanna set them in here? I might just set them in here. Oh yeah, it looks cute in here. I probably am gonna go get something to prop it up just a bit because I want my aerial roots to stick over the edge. You could leave it just like this. It looks really, really cute. Actually, I think that side looks the best. Isn't that cute? I'm gonna get a little something to lift it up just a bit because I think it would look cute with the aerial roots spilling over the side. So let's do this. I'm gonna go get something for this guy. I'm gonna go get my vacuum to clean up my moss mess. And then I'm gonna pull the items from past boxes so we can stack them out and see how well does Jess Deco build when we take summer and mash it up against spring, winter, fall, summer 22, and so forth. I had to zoom the camera out as far as it could go. <laughs> to get everything inside. And this isn't everything. This is just a select few things I wanted to share with you. Like there's a really cute BR guest, like one of those mini doormats. It's on the front of the pink envelope playhouse. It's so cute. But at this point, it's so dirty. I was like, I'm not bringing it in here. But it's another great example of the type of items that she sends. So, or they send, should I say. The, I had to strip down Emma's room for majority of this stuff because like this belly basket we got, I don't even know how long ago. It can stay up like this. You can push it in and make it a half basket so it'll slide on the shelf really easy. Emma actually has a palm, like this great palm, that this is the base. We have a plastic tray that goes in the bottom, the plant goes in and it goes on the floor and it looks so cute holding her palm. Uh, I had to strip down, so this just came in our box, right? This macrame from the wall in her room, I'm pretty sure she's gonna want this guy as well. Once again, coordinating without matching pieces, Just Deco is all about texture. So where we're starting to see more of these color elements, like this came in our spring box that looks super cute with this new throw blanket we got. Uh, they still are sending the neutral balancing pieces like this wall art display that has their signature textures behind it. Over the last two years worth of boxes, they send their pop of color item, their brown neutral tannish item, and then the occasional black accent. And that's it. That this is your Just Deco box. It makes it very, very easy to decorate when they're consistently sending the same color palette, the same concept. I think that they're very boho. They have an Afro-Latina curation behind each of the items. I love that we're getting these pops of color because even these together, all three of these together, are still done well. Have you noticed that even though they're color, all three of these color items would look super cute together. They're matted out. They're of the same family of color. I think they're owning their space. And I was looking, and I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. They are the cheapest, if not one of the very cheapest home decor subscription boxes out there. Because I think there's some in the like $99 range and then we jump to like $120, $140 and then there's several over $200. So if you are looking to join a home decor subscription box that has good quality, great curation, and a, an affordable price point, Just Deco is going to be your box. So normally from here, like one of my favorite things to do is to take the items out and decorate all throughout the house, put the hooks on the wall, decorate the mantle. But we are still in the middle of that bathroom remodel. Like I have a potty, like as in a toilet sitting in my living room. So it might lack the appeal <laughs> that it normally has when I do a decorate with me with the items. So 
You can go check out past Decorate With Me's. You can go watch the summer Decorate With Me from 2022. Still applicable, still great. I do have a summer 2023 Decorate With Me coming. It's just going to be more towards the end of June into July once I can like put the bathroom things back in the bathroom so the living room can just be the living room without a potty and a door and a shelf and a window and a mirror all inside it. Just Deco subscribers. Throw some love on this video. Share the parts of Just Deco that you enjoy so that anybody new who's looking in this box and can't decide if it's a match for them um, will know what to look for and what to expect. If you're looking at this and you're like, this is so boho fabulous, but I'm not boho. Stay tuned. We have another home decor box coming on Friday that may be more your style. It's uh, a TPE favorite for sure. Just Deco and the one that's coming. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. I've also been told the bell. If you hit the bell when I post a video, it dings on y'all's side. Um, we only post right now four times a week. If it's really wild, we hit five. So you don't have to worry about us blowing you up. But it'll make sure that you don't miss any videos. A few of you have been saying that YouTube hasn't been showing videos, which is so not cool. Uh, that may help. And then commenting. When you engage with the video, you show YouTube, oh, this is content I'm interested in and I would like to see more of. So you can throw a hey y'all down there, anything that you want. Like it, throw a comment to let YouTube know, hi, I want to see more. I'm in chat with a brand new home decor box now, hoping I can get that in fast to show it to you. I'm in talks with a very popular lifestyle box. Hopefully I can get that to you soon. And believe it or not, like literally in about one month, we launch fall. I'm not ready. I'm just gonna be real honest, I'm not ready. So hopefully in the next month I get ready because I'm still digging these vibes. I'm still having fun with the summer stuff. And here in Texas, it's been super mild. So we're just now hitting the real heat. It has normally, it's like ungodly hot and it hasn't been this year. So like spring has prolonged. I just now I'm starting my summer. I don't know where you guys are. You can comment below and let us know like where are you at in the spring summer swap. Um, but fall? We have Stitch Fix Women's coming, Stitch Fix Kids coming, Front Door Fashion coming, Wild Grains coming. I'm gonna work on a vlog to introduce you guys to the Pink Envelope Playhouse finally. We have the July Monthly Haul, which is almost all brand new boxes. And then that next week is my birthday. And I am trying to reach that 25,000 goal. So share, like, comment. What can we do to see if we can hit 25,000 by July 7th? That would be super exciting. And I might take a little bit of time off uh, just to be able to go to the beach with my family and hang with the kids. I'll let you guys know. And then I, yes, summer decorate with me will come about that time frame. And then it's like the next two weeks that a fall starts. So subscribe so you don't miss. I hope that you guys are having an absolutely amazing day. And if you did subscribe to the channel, I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye y'all.